If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new evolutions. Uh, this is the accounts that we haven't played on for probably a whole week. So uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and check out the new evolutions. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the individual cards that are probably going to be some of the best options to go with, right? So for the new Trailblazer Striker, it's actually going to cost 50k or 1000 FIFA points. Um, and then we also have the Trailblazer center back, right? So uh, if we take a look at the objectives here, we have uh, a couple of interesting things. So the first one will give you a power header. The second one will give you a chip shot. And then the third one will give you a finesse shot. So to be fair, a couple of uh, interesting traits for the most part or play styles. Um, I will say... Eh, it's, it's a few decent ones to be fair. If you get like the physical guys that are actually pretty good in the air for the power header than fine if that's like a play style that you like to go for right but yeah we'll be taking a look at some of the options that you have here for those evils uh, and then you also have the trailblazer center back card who is gonna get the power header trait so for corner kicks aerial so okay so whoever you pick for this that near post corner kick is going to be very effective right because having both power header and aerial is kind of crazy um, and then you also have the acrobatic as well Okay, so no uh, bruiser, no anticipate. So definitely choose your center backs wisely for that one. Most of these games is... Okay, and then the, the, how much is this one? Okay, guys, so for the first one, we're going to try out the Trailblazer Striker. Um, I'm going to edit this based off of the stuff that I feel like kind of pops out the most for the most part. But yeah, let's take a look at the evolved players for this, right? So in the first list here, I would say, oh my goodness, I can uh, I can evolve Ivan Jamie, Jaime. This is a FC Porto player. Oh, dude, if this game was different, man, <laughs> if this game was different. Anyways, uh, Jukula King. Nope, I think any any of these ones are definitely not it. Uh, three star, three star. OK, so this one could be one that somebody might actually get uh, just in case they want to get an easier link to someone like Lionel Messi. Uh, for a three-star, four-star player. So if you're the type of person that doesn't really care too much about the skill moves, but you need that link to Messi specifically, then in the future, you would basically prepare a team where you would have, maybe if they do like a new Jordi Alba, a new Sergio Busquets, but that's like way ahead of time. Because this card, when you actually look at it on a Hunter, it's pretty decent, not necessarily terrible by any means. Uh, but yeah, it's it's mainly for the inter Miami links. I wouldn't say it's necessarily like a um, super meta option. I could see some people going for this card. Nep's definitely going to go for Enketia for sure. Um, on a Hunter chemistry style, this card will have better pace, better shooting capabilities. It does look mostly sentimental, I would say, because he only gets those three actual traits or play styles on the card by the looks of it, right? So you just put them into Trailblazer Striker right away and you have a more usable version of uh Enketia's card Divok Origi as a physical type striker what about him Divok Origi on a hunter because he he's just like the physical type player right it's not not AC Milan I'm pretty sure he's on loan at uh I believe it's Nottingham he's a controlled lengthy player so you'd work with that part of the card more than anything he's a four star weak foot he would get better traits to work with as well technical two agility and bounce is on the lower side so it kind of pushes him away from meta but I could see some people maybe doing that too, depending on um, the types of players that they want, for sure. Verity doesn't look like a bad option, but this is if you are only strictly going for a Italian team or an Italian team, because on a Hunter, he actually does look well formatted for a card that would strictly play in the cam position, because he even has the five-star weak foot, which is nice, you know, a nice little balance on the shooting. But this is, like I said, a card you unlock, if your team is Italian. Like, I don't know if Stallion still plays this game. That's probably going to be a card for him, if anything. So a person that I was looking into was this Dennis card as well. I mean, it wouldn't necessarily be a horrible option. This card is a mostly explos explosive player who could potentially feel like you may want a marksman on him, right? Because the way that his dribbling is formatted, you would boost the shooting to be in a better area. If I were to give him a hunter, the hunter would be bad 
I mean, it's a card that I'd probably strictly use in the side positions. Technical finish, uh, I mean, that wouldn't be like a horrible option for people that want to get those links, but again, it kind of strays away from the meta a little bit, I would say. Oh, Fabio Silva. Fabio Silva controlled player, finisher chemistry style, engine chemistry style. Play styles has all three. Engine would make him more usable, but again, definitely a sentimental card more than anything. Because if you give him a hunter, again, he'll be he'll be more usable for sure. Portuguese Wolves links as well, but nothing um too crazy there either. Boda was the guy that was trending at first. Yeah, I mean, he's mostly explosive. If you give him a hunter, cool beans, but like low 80s for dribbling. Pretty sure Bodu is a, a little bit taller as well, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think I can actually see that over here. I probably have to actually search him up over here. Let's see, Bodu. So Bodu is a person who's 5'11 with an average body type, right? So they, they make him a main cover player, but the thing is, is that like meta wise, yeah, it's it's... It's mostly sentimental for that one, I think, too. Defrel. Defrel used to be good. This guy used to be one of my MV MVPs in one of my old uh, foot teams. But that guy's not necessarily crazy. Yeah, there was a guy that I skipped here. This one actually looks like a pretty decent option. Let's see. So Trailblazer Striker. A card that I would probably specifically use in a side position, to be completely honest with you. Uh, the reason why this one looks interesting is because he has, by default, 96 agility with a 99 for balance. While pace is also... Uh, um, up there as well. I mean, usability wise, honestly, like I'd probably give him like a marksman chemistry style um, to boost his shooting to be in a better area as well as his dribbling. And then I'd probably in game use him as like a cam because he's high medium work rated and he has a five star weak foot. So if I switch that to be my cam in game because he has the striker position change too, then that wouldn't necessarily be completely horrible, right? Four star, five star as well. So not, um, not a terrible choice there. I've seen he was like a trending card as well. I'm seeing a couple of different ones here, like Tell as well, for people who want to work with the um, French Bayern Munich links, because he is a person who is a four-star, four-star player. Um, dribbling is on the lower side. If I provide him with the Hunter chemistry style to boost his pace and his shooting, there is still a few things that's pretty low on the card, right? Because... With Tell, he's a person who is six foot tall, average body type. So if he's tall like that, I would probably need at least like a, a like a lengthy out of the card. You know what I'm saying? With the way that it's currently formatted. I mean, technically speaking, maybe I can give him like a marksman chemistry style as well to boost the dribbling to feel a certain way. But again, this is more for the realms of usability more than it is for meta, I believe. So again, guys, the community usually has a, a pretty good idea of the ones that look the most meta, give you the best links, that type of deal, right? Um, so we'll be looking into the center back ones afterwards, but I think we've covered pretty much all of the main attacker ones. Like there's obviously Broja and stuff, but with these guys, it's I think it's mainly going to be for like sentimental value, right? Because these cards, for the most part, they're very, you know, poorly formatted. Like if I check out, check out this card... Because we, I seen him, but I just like skipped past it. This card, if we go to his evolutions and we go to the Trailblazer Striker, to be fair, he is a mostly lengthy player. His 78 acceleration is definitely a huge downside of the card, but in terms of usability, quote unquote usability, sure, right? But we do only have rivals, you know what I mean? Like these are the things you have to consider. Um, what else we got here? Let's see. Trailblazer Striker for Sesco. Sesco? This guy's doing a work IRL. Let's see this guy, Sesco. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so Sesco is a person who is a controlled lengthy player. On a Hunter chemistry style, he's just gonna be like the physical type striker, but he is three star, three star. So again, it mostly seems sentimental. If you're decent enough with the game, guys, you could definitely make these cards work, but it is definitely mostly sentimental with some of these guys for sure. Uh, this guy we already checked out, and the Trailblazer center back we'll be checking out right after as well. Edward, physical type striker as well. They probably didn't give him... Oh, he's a four-star, four-star at least. Physical type striker who is four-star, four-star at least. Finesse shot, chip shot, technical flare, and power header. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Let's see what he looks like here. So if I go to Edward, Edward, and I go to his evolutions, Trailblazer striker. He's a controlled lengthy player on a Hunter chemistry style. I mean, this card's usable. Yeah, this card's usable. Controlled lengthy, obviously you have to work with the dribbling of the card, but this one's usability is a little bit higher because the work rate is good. He is a four-star, four-star, four-star player. So I can see this guy being okay. 
because the lengthy will push the pace out of the card and he'll have better traits to work with while being a four star four star player so that's not bad because even if i wanted to use him on that left hand side his finishing on a hunter is 97 95 so that's uh that's okay if you want to go in that direction if you enjoy using the physical type strikers for sure who's this guy plays for villarreal trailblazer striker as well 85 for dribbling balances on the lower side makes you feel like you want to give him an engine maybe but it could be like an ospa situation where you just work with the balance as it is not necessarily because he's six foot two and this is a three star three star player as well i just want to make sure that it's not like bugged and it doesn't actually let's see um what's his name again brett bretton uh brer brer this guy yeah this guy yeah so evolution's pretty sure he's gonna be same thing right three star three star okay so footman's actually accurate with that stuff uh who else we have here let's see so goodman uh goodmanson goodman uh Gu goodmanson goodmanson yeah sentimental as well for the most part uh i mean this card actually could for people who are trying to put some uh Icelandic people in their team like that's not terrible he's a lengthy player I would say guys we got to be honest though man uh, most of these uh, evils for this specific one is for sentimental value which would be fine if you had better gameplay game modes but short tire I mean for people who are Manchester United fans I would not doubt it I would not doubt it hey if you pack him as a bronze probably gonna be extinct just like that Mainu or Mainu card eh Oh yeah, let's get it. Five foot nine, shore tire. Let's see this guy. Shore tire, shore tire, shore tire. Evolutions, three star, four star. Marksman chemistry. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's that's sentimental if I've ever seen one. Dead eye chemistry style maybe. Oh, that shooting is low. That shooting do be low. Maybe if someone's uh, uh if shore tire if shore tire does uh YouTube content maybe you know what I'm saying YouTube content maybe. Who's this guy from Brighton? Who's this? Three star, three star, high medium. Oh, he he's trending because of the bright and links for this one for sure i mean technically speaking if you give him a hunter chemistry style he will still be usable in that side position but yeah three star three star kind of low for this game right now this guy from the syria four star four star high low work rated um trailblazer striker i mean this one's not too bad for people who need like a belgian striker or something but even still, you got to give him like a marksman. And if you give him a marksman, it feels like you want to give him a hunter, right? Play styles though. Let's see. Power header, chip shot, finesse shot, flare, rapid. So he does have the pace to work with too. So usability wise, not too bad there. Honestly, guys, when it comes to Trailblazer Striker, from what I've seen so far, Verdi is the best option, man. Like meta wise, I'm not even joking. Like even to use in the top divisions. But with him, it's like it has to be an Italian player. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to have Italian players in your team for the link ups or an Italian manager, I would say. Then you give the link ups uh, with the Italian players too, like stuff like that, basically. I mean, for Trailblazer Striker, guys, that's like pretty much it. I, I would genuinely say that the most meta option here is Verdi from all the selections that I've seen. Some of these like are going to be a little bit more usable because they have lengthy so you can give them like like Edward for instance like Edward's card if you can give him that lengthy which he does have he's a controlled lengthy player you give him a hunter chemistry style you work with the fact that he's dribbling instead of a certain way like that's okay because he's four star four star six foot two high medium so that wouldn't be like a, a completely terrible choice. But some of like the top options like Enketia and Tel, like these ones are like, again, it's more for like usability than it is like for in-game quality. Like if this is an informed card in the market, I just don't see him costing like a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? It's funny because the free ones seem to be like the pretty decent option. So we're going to get into this one now, the Trailblazer center back cards, because again, they kind of look like they match the meta a little bit more than the, um, the other cards, right? So Kara is the first one here. Um, and I have to do this because on Footbin, they don't update the stuff right away. So if we go to his evolutions and we t check him out on a shadow chemistry style, he is a mostly lengthy card who doesn't have acceleration, to be fair, but 93 for sprint speed on a mostly lengthy. His defensive stats will be in a decent area. He's a medium, medium worker to play with a five star weak foot, and he has the bruiser play style. So this one for meta would not be a horrible option if you are going for specific links in your team do i think that this card is gonna be better than you know like a varan for instance probably not but like this is a little bit different because these are free cards in comparison so you know uh mostly lengthy on this card though will make him a little bit more usable stamina on the lower side but not necessarily a big deal because with care he probably has like a proper body type six foot to one and doesn't say the rest of it's here so that's the first one for the center backs we have Caldwell. he'll be trending because he is a chelsea player 
uh, for the most part. So he's kind of formatted in a similar way to the uh, Kara card where his pace is on the lower side. Uh, Call will, um, his, play, his pace is on the lower side, but the way that he's formatted is again on a mostly lengthy. So 82 acceleration, 92 for sprint speed, defensive stats massively improved. Um, and he's working with a lot of very good play styles to be fair like he even has slide tackle on the card he's got um i don't know what this one is actually is that for passes which one is that long ball pass yeah and then he also has the block here that i noticed too so no anticipate no bruiser but block is actually pretty decent so for people that are trying to get some chelsea link ups in your team with some english players that could be an option to work with there as well um we have copet copit uh so higher acceleration over sprint speed and he's a left-footed player this is does his work rate change in any sort of way let's see here okay so evolutions here shadow chemistry style no that's wrong right yeah that's wrong okay so over, i was gonna say i'm like excuse me <laughs> um it's this one here sorry that's my fault uh, shadow chemistry style so higher acceleration over sprint speed which is not bad because the lengthy will push the pace out of the card also has a block and has intercept on the card. I'm pretty positive that's intercept, is it not? Yes, it is. Intercept, aerial, block. This card has some pretty decent stuff for the League of Santander players. If you wanted to go with that, um, let's see what else we got here. We have Long Lay. I think Guyu is going to go for this one for sure. For the Spurs players, 100,000 million percent. Um, let's see here. So this one, Long Lay. Thing is, though, guys, that his pace is on the lower side. So your depth would have to be lower for these types of cards. Um, Aston Villa. Oh, that's right. Spurs is not. Oh, yeah, he's not in Spurs anymore. Never mind. Guyu is definitely not going to get this card anymore. Plays for Aston Villa now. That's right. He did get a new loan. I forget about that. But um, yeah, with his card, I mean, even still, I would say that the pace is on the lower side with the shadow chemistry style for the mostly lengthy boost in the pace, boost in the defending. Yeah, French. So it is a French center back and he could be decent, but he gets the three main play styles that they already kind of give as well. Caliba is a 72 pace center back. So by default, I'm not looking at this card in the center back position. I'm actually looking into him as a cdm okay so that's going to be a key thing here to mention is not looking at this card as a cd or a center back but actually as a cdm because by default that pace is just too low right for longevity in this game you will get annoyed at some point however with this version of the card on a shadow chemistry style his acceleration is low his sprint speed is low but he is a medium high work rated card to strictly be used in the CDM position for people that want to work with Chelsea links because this card it's a little bit different because he has the intercept which is nice obviously no block no bruise or anything like that but he is a very tall player at six foot three right he's a six foot three player which is pretty massive in game and it is very helpful to have especially when with the intercept and stuff to be able to defend in certain situations so this card even though his pace is low because it is we have to be honest on a shadow chemistry style playing on that lengthy playing in that cdm position for people that want to work with those links it's not necessarily uh too terrible there as well soyonchu let's see soyonchu's card 68 acceleration 84 for sprint speed um okay so let's see soyonchu's card soyonchu let's see here Okay, so evolutions on the card, Trailblazer center back, shadow chemistry style, uh, 77 acceleration. So the problem with the acceleration being on the lower side, guys, is that when your acceleration is low, when you face someone that is using the R1 dribbling against you, that is very annoying to deal with, uh, deal with right? That's why when Ruben Diaz has, you know, Ruben Diaz has fantastic defensive animations, but his pace is just really slow for the meta of the gameplay. Unless you play like a three back formation where your left mid and right mid could come back and he's playing like down the middle the pace is just on the lower side so soyonchu could be a selection that people could potentially go with but um oh he plays for atletico madrid nowadays i was about to say i'm pretty sure he's like a leicester player but he i guess he got transferred over there once they got relegated um eric Bai as well no this can't be it because he plays for a thing now right basiktas yeah he's a bit he's a basiktas player uh shadow chemistry saw on this bad boy what does he look like let's see let's see here eric Bai. eric or no it's leon bailey um bye 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 there it is okay so evolutions for this one uh for the turkish league links shadow chemistry style he's not like terribly formatted to be honest with you guys because he's mostly lengthy the pace is in an okay area to be fair the defense is in a good area the physical is in a good area not a bad selection for people that are working with the turkish league links 
Now, looking at Eric Bailly, you know, if you were to have someone like the Jetson Fernandez card and you ended up, you know, using the Evo on this card, which I'm going to be honest with you guys, they got they should just keep in the game at this point. You know what I'm saying? If you did the Jetson Fernandez card, that's a Besiktas link for people who are a fan of this club. So honestly, W for the Besiktas fans. I have a soft spot for you guys because of uh, Quaresma. So, oh, Yoshida, 80 pace, lower acceleration, MLS links. Okay, so he's a he's an MLS links type of player. Yoshida, MLS links, Yoshida, MLS links, evolutions, trailblazer center back, shadow chemistry style. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> That is the wrong one. That is my bad. Trailblazer center back. So you use Pacey Protector. You use Trailblazer Pacey Protector. Maybe it's because I don't have it to myself. I don't know. I don't know how this works. But yeah, MLS links for that one. Uh, two, 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 two. What else we got here? Got this Ross guy. Guy on Friends or what? Shadow Chemistry style for this bad boy. Controlled lengthy player. Uh, another, another decent meta option. Another decent one. He has Intercept Plus on this card. This one's not too bad, actually. 90 acceleration, 86 for sprint speed, no anticipate, no bruiser, which to be fair, guys, big play styles for defenders, like really, really big ones. Even block would be good. Like I have Kempempe on block and he's awesome. But um, yeah, this one's not a horrible selection by any means. That was on Game of Thrones. Uh, play styles. Sly tackle, power header, aerial, and acrobatic. On a shadow, I mean, for people that are working with the Bundesliga links, I guess. I guess. Rats, a medium, medium work rate of guy. Shadow chemistry style, medium, medium, 5'11, okay. Let's see what this guy looks like. 7581. Shadow chemistry style for this guy. High medium, that's a weird work rate for this guy. 6'4 as well for a lengthy, pure meta play style for him. Um, or uh, accelerate, excuse me. So Shadow Chemistry style for this guy. I mean, some people could go with that too. That wouldn't necessarily be horrible because his pace would be in a decent area. Or a lengthy player. Um, Juan he Jesus, bro. Yo. Or Juan? Juan? No, Juan Jesus? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Shadow Chemistry style for this guy. He's a controlled, lengthy player. This guy used to be him back in the day, bro. Left-footed as well. Ruben Vezo, 80 pace. Wara center back for inception, bro. Medium, medium work rates. Shadow Chemistry style on this guy. Portuguese league setup for a free center back. I mean, it's not too bad, to be honest. What's his play styles? Okay, so he just gets the default three to make him a usable card. I mean, I, I can see the Portuguese guys going for that, to be honest. Odian, Kmekstaj. How do you look here, buddy? How do you look here, buddy? Uh, five foot six. All right, we keep it moving. It's kind of crazy how the center backs are, like, you have better meta options than you do for the attackers. Like, the attackers, I would say it's, like, mostly, like, Edward, maybe, like, the Verdi card for meta, you know, stuff like that, but the center back ones like there's a few cards that you can actually like use in the meta of the gameplay and they would be okay but um i'm gonna be honest with you guys uh, maybe we do a discussion for the evos because uh, listen man the concept is great right but like if you were to give me evolutions back in fifa 15 where i could use someone like christian atsu's rare gold card and he didn't feel like complete trash it would be cool but the thing is man is that in this game you don't you don't get meta cards for you to get meta cards you get meta cards for your players to not feel horrible you guys get what i'm saying you know what i mean like sometimes you'll use an anzu fati who to this day is the best evo to get and even sometimes he's weird because of the gameplay, right? But like, that's just the gameplay being the gameplay. But it's Anzu Fati and he's the best selection. I regret not getting him on, on my regular account, to be honest with you. Actually, no, I don't because I got Jota and Jota is actually pretty decent too, to be fair. Jota is pretty decent. Anzu Fati is the better choice, but Jota is actually pretty decent, especially if they give me a nice little cheeky Kareem Benzema in the future. Uh, but yeah, Jota was definitely nice too for the for the difference of the selections there but it's kind of crazy how the first evolutions were were the better selections guys we have to be honest like I'll, maybe i'll do a discussion video on this in the future a little rant maybe but i mean like we don't have modes like back in the day you know we don't have tournament mode to try out these cards and even if i wanted to try out these cards like they're not gonna feel that great you need cards that have good stats to feel normal in the game. That's why you get them. You know what I'm saying? Because guys, look, uh, for the like the center backs, not as bad, right? Because you don't pay for the center backs, right? Trailblazer center back, you don't pay for that one. But the 50k striker one, guys, most of those cards are not 50k on the market. Most of the car those cards are not worth the FIFA points. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're getting them mostly for like sentimental value. And then if you're going to use them for sentimental value, okay, cool. Let's go into the... Uh, no, I'm not going to... All right. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Maybe we'll do it at a... Another video, all right? Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.